Welcome back to week 8 of Kono's Crash Course covering the fall of Rome. Specifically, this lecture covers the fall of the Western Empire of Rome. The Crash Course will be split up into 8 reasons which ultimately ended up in the fall of the Western Roman Empire. Reason 1. The split of the Roman Empire into the Eastern and Western Empires in 293 AD. This was ordered by Emperor Diocletian after he determined that ruling the entire empire which spanned from the United Kingdom all the way to the Eastern Mesopotamian region was too difficult to rule at its intense size. Reason 2. Government Corruption and Political Instability The governmental system of the time had no effective method for selecting a new emperor, and this issue prompted many civil wars and infighting for the position of emperor. Corruption was also prominent within the emperor's close bodyguards, the Praetorian Guard, who were known to assassinate emperors they disliked through bribes. Reason 3. Economic Problems and Over-Reliance on Slavery when Rome reached its peak and stopped growing, the wealth stopped coming in. Less soldiers were enlisted, and the cities were flooded with crime and homelessness. Reason 4. Overexpansion and military expenditures. Being a primarily military-based society, Rome faced a large problem with most of its government budget being spent on the military instead of the cities and people. Reason 5. Weakening of the Roman army. The Roman army was originally well-trained and respected, and many soldiers enlisted. However, many were looking for money and power, and this led to disillusioned soldiers and overall less recruitment. Reason 6. Christianity and loss of traditional Roman values. In 313, the Edict of Milan was issued, which made Christianity legal in Rome. In 380, Christianity became the official state religion. The values that Christianity taught, including peace and kindness, was not often well received by Romans who were a war-based society. Reason 7. Migration and Invasion of Barbarian People Barbarians were considered anyone who was not a Roman. Many of these barbarians were Germanic groups migrating into Rome, and oftentimes barbarians were used to fill the gaps in a slowly failing Roman army. Alaric the Goth was one of these barbarians who rose up in protest against the poor treatment against barbarians in the army after over 10,000 wives and children were killed. He rallied over 30,000 Gothic troops who terrorized Rome for three days in 410. Attila the Hun was another barbarian who was believed to have come from Asia. He ruled the Huns until his death and introduced many uniquely effective military techniques including the deadly accurate mounted archer. In 451, a combined force of Roman and Gothic troops barely defeated Attila. Finally, Odacer I was a Roman Germanic general who in 476 deposed the last Roman emperor, Romulus Augustus, who was only a child when he stepped down. Reason 8. Disease and Plague Issues with climate and disease were common in Rome. Mosquitoes carried malaria in large amounts, especially around Rome and Campania, a low-lying farmland which was abandoned and left to become marsh. The first major plague to hit the Roman Empire was the Antonine Plague, which began in 165 and lasted until 180. It is estimated to have killed around 5 to 10 million people with a 25% mortality rate, and it is believed to have been smallpox or the measles. The second major plague was the Plague of Cyprian, which began in 249 and ended around 262. The plague caused widespread food shortages and was reported to have been a mosquito-borne illness, which killed roughly 5,000 people per day, and overall more than the plague which preceded it with a 25-35% to 35 mortality rate. Finally, the legacy of Rome left on the world came through its influence on government, law, technology, cultural transmission, food, military tactics, and language. That's all for this week. Study for the quiz and wear your seatbelt.